Hello everyone, I welcome you all to my channel WINS Academy for Competitive Exams. In this video, we are going to see basics of elementary signals with some examples. Our learning objectives are introduction about the elementary signals, then the basic elementary signals that is unit step signal, unit ramp signal, unit impulse signal, exponential signal and sinusoidal signal. Then relation between step, ram and impulse functions. <coughs> now let us see what is the necessity for elementary signals. Elementary signals is very very important in the study of signals and systems. If you want to construct a complex signal then elementary signal is the basic building block. Also any physical signal can be realized using these elementary signals. Next, we are going to see the representation of signals, that is how to represent this signal. There are two ways, one is graphical form and another one is functional form. Graphical form means using graphs or diagrams you will be representing it. Functional form means using equations we will be representing the signal. Also remember always that continuous time signals are represented using the variable t. Example, x of t. x of t represents a continuous time signal. Discrete time signals are always represented using the variable n. Example, x of m. First, we are going to see unit step signal. u of t or u of n. So, here unit represents its magnitude value is equal to 1. And why we are saying it is step means the signal shape is in the form of steps right so that only we are saying it is unit step signal it is represented as u of t now here we are having positive t axis this is negative t axis for unit step signal from 0 to infinity its value will be equal to 1 from 0 to minus infinity its value will be equal to 0 so that is the condition u of t is equal to 1 for t greater than 0 and it is equal to 0 for t less than 0. This is for continuous time case. Next for discrete case u of n. So here this axis is plus n. This axis is minus n. So here also from 0 to infinity its value will be equal to 1. 0 to minus infinity its value is equal to 0. So u of n is equal to 1 for n greater than or equal to 0. And it is equal to 0 for n less than 0. The next signal is unit ramp signal. It is represented as R of T or R of N. So ramp. Ramp means it is a slope. Right. As shown in the figure it is a slope. So we will be getting the graph as a linear graph. So if T value is equal to 1 then R of T value is also equal to 1. If T value is equal to 2 R of T value also equal to 2. Like that it goes on. So, we can write R of t equal to t for t greater than 0 and it is equal to 0 for t less than 0. Similarly, for discrete time, R of n. So, R of n is equal to n for n greater than or equal to 0 and it is equal to 0 for n less than 0. The next signal is unit impulse signal. It is denoted as del of t or del of n. Del of t for continuous time and del of n for discrete time. So this signal is very very important. It is used for testing these systems. It is also called as direct delta function. So impulse means when two cars met an accident. What happens? All of a sudden within a fraction of seconds there will be a great force in between the two cars. So, only at t equal to 0, you will be having the value. So, that is called as impulse signal. Similarly, for um, discrete time, here also, when n is equal to 0, you will be having the magnitude. If the magnitude value is equal to 1, then it is called as unit impulse signal or unit impulse function. So, the functional representation, del of t equal to 0 for t not equal to 0. That means for remaining values of t, its value is equal to 0 here also. For positive values of t, its value is equal to 0. We are having the value only at t equal to 0. So that only we are saying it is del of t equal to 0 for t not equal to 0 and del of t equal to 1 for t equal to 0. Then for a discrete case, you will be saying unit impulse signal as unit sample function. 
So del of n is equal to 0 for n not equal to 0. It is equal to 1 for n equal to 0. The next signal is exponential signal. So any function that increases or decreases at a faster rate, then it can be represented as exponential signal. The general expression is x of t equal to capital A into e power b t. Here a is the value at the start. At the start means at the starting initial point. At t equal to 0, the value. That is the a value. Then b is the rate of growth. If it is greater than 0 means, then it is rate of growth. If it is less than 0 means, then it is decay. So, and t is the time. So here we are having two types of exponentials. One is growing exponential and another one is decaying exponential. If b is greater than 0 means, then it is growing exponential. And if b is less than 0 means, then it is decaying exponential. So this is decaying exponential and this is growing exponential. The best example is pandemic, COVID-19. So there is an exponential growth of disease because the virus gets multiplied, multiplied and it gets increased. So there is an exponential growth of the disease. So it is a growing exponential. So it increases exponentially. Then decaying exponential. Decaying exponential means B is less than 0. For example, take an ice cube and keep it in the sunlight. What happens? It melts down quickly. So this is the decaying exponential. So it is represented using this graph. The next one is discrete time growing exponential and discrete time decaying exponential. This is similar to the continuous time. Here the values are in discrete nature. So this is growing exponential and this is decaying exponential since it is decaying. The next one is sinusoidal signals. Sinusoidal signals means sine wave or cosine wave anything. So x of t equal to a cos of omega t plus phi. Here we are representing cosine wave form. Here capital A is the amplitude and omega. This omega is analog omega. That is continuous time omega. Omega is frequency in radian per second and phi is the phase angle in radians. For discrete case x of n is equal to a cos of omega n. This is digital omega or discrete time omega. Omega n plus phi. Here also A is the amplitude and omega is the frequency in radian per second. Phi is the phase angle in radians. So continuous time signal and this is discrete time signal. Next we are going to see the relation between step, ramp and impulse functions. So first relation between unit step and unit ramp. So this is the graph for ramp and this is the graph for unit step function. So differentiation of ramp signal is equal to unit step signal. So differentiation means what is the meaning? We have to find out the difference. So here ramp 0 and 1. What is the difference? Is equal to 1. Similarly 1 and 2. The difference is equal to 1. Similarly 2 and 3. The difference is equal to 1. So all the difference value will be equal to 1. So you will be getting the unit step function. Otherwise integration of u of t dt is equal to r of t. What is the meaning of integration? We have to add it out. So if we are adding 0 and 1, its value is equal to 1. Then 1 and 2, its value is equal to 2. Then 2 and 3, its value is equal to 3. Like that it goes on. So you will be getting the ramp function. So either differentiation of ramp is equal to unit step or integration of unit step is equal to ramp. Similarly, relation between unit step and delta function. We know delta function means at t is equal to 0, you will be having the value as 1. So differentiation of u of t. Differentiation of u of t means we have to find the difference. So between this point and this point, what is the difference? Its value is equal to 0 because this amplitude is 1. This amplitude is also equal to 1. So 1 minus 1, it's equal to 0. Similarly, this point and this point, its amplitude is equal to 0. Similarly, this point and this point, its amplitude is equal to 0. Now, this point and the center point 0, its amplitude value will be equal to 1. So, you will be getting the delta function. So, differentiation of unit step is equal to delta function. Otherwise, integration of delta function is equal to unit step function. Next, relation between unit ramp and delta function. So here d squared by dt squared, that means we have to differentiate it two times, r of t. If we differentiate once r of n, you will be getting u of n. 
again if you differentiate it again you will be getting del of n so that is the meaning d square by dt square r of t is equal to del of t otherwise we can write r of t is equal to double integral of we have to integrate two times del of t into dt so in short we can keep it in mind del of t on integration you will be getting u of t again on differentiation you will be getting r of t or r of t on differentiation you will be getting u of t again on differentiation you will be getting del, del of t so this is simpler to keep in mind because r s i r stands for ramp function s stands for step function and i stands for impulse function so in them we have to use differentiation so r s i that you can keep it in mind now let us summarize unit step signal so u of t is equal to 1 for t greater than 0 and it is equal to 0 for t less than 0 unit ramp signal r of t equal to t for t greater than 0 0 for t less than 0 then unit impulse signal del of t equal to 0 for t is not equal to 0 and it is equal to 1 for t equal to 0 exponential signal x of t equal to capital a into e power b t Depending upon the value of b, either it is positive or negative, it will be growing exponential or decaying exponential. Then the last one is sinusoidal signal. So it can be either sine wave or cosine wave. X of t is equal to a cos of omega t plus phi. The last one is relation between step, ramp and impulse function. So you can keep r s i in mind. r stands for ramp, s stands for step and i stands for impulse. So, in between that, we have differentiated. R of t, differentiation, u of t, on differentiation, you will be getting del of t. Now, we have come to the end of the session. I hope you all have understood. If you like this video, kindly subscribe it and press the bell button so that you can get the notifications regarding my future videos. Thank you.